what's poppin people welcome back to another episode if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell hit the like button on the video it really helps out the channel i appreciate everybody that does that today we're out on this beautiful florida lake and it's going to be the hottest day in florida this year so far so i'm curious to see how the fishing is guys it's going to get up to i believe 97 degrees today it is going to be toasty and we're going to try to catch some really big bass put her heads down and uh, just cover a lot of water learn this new lake and see what we can catch today in one of the previous episodes i actually came out on this lake i did pretty good for for my first time out here ended up catching a couple really good four to five pound fish also a bunch of other you know fair sized bass and ended up probably catching around 25 in that day you can't complain of that but today we're going to try to catch them even better and more importantly try to catch the bigger ones i'm going to be throwing bigger baits today that are going to allow me to get a bigger bite um, and we're going to see what we can put together i hope you guys enjoy it let's go ahead and hop into it let's see what we can do this is the bait we're going to be starting off on old chatter donk you guys know big fish machine i actually caught my biggest one the other day on the chatter dog only ended up catching one fish on it but it was a big one so i think if we put our heads down with this bait we're gonna end up catching them i just got a regular white fluke paired up on it and this is a white chartreuse chatter dog um and i got this paired up on my kicking their bass tv x loose combo we got right hand bait casters left hand and also spinning combos and they're only available on kickingtheirbass.com anybody who supports the brand i really appreciate you all thank you so much and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get after it. We're out here pretty deep right now. We're sitting in about 20 foot. There's a big heavy grass line. Grass stands about eight foot tall. It's got a big heavy drop and a lot of those bass are gonna be hanging on the edge of it. So we're gonna start off with this, cover a lot of water. If we have to, we'll switch up to a big worm and see if we can pull up a few. But uh, I really don't wanna have to do that today. I really wanna cover water with this moving bait because uh, I think that's gonna be our chance of catching a really big one. Let's get after it. By the way, my trolling motor's broke. <laughs> I've been having a struggle. It's like I gotta really press down on this thing. That ain't stopping us from catching some big ones today now. I got a stack of at least 15 of them under me. I'm gonna back off real quick. I know I said I, I might stick to the chatter, but let's see if we can catch one of these real quick. I, I mean, there's like 15 of them stacked on the bottom. Throwing a big old worm, big mag daddy. Oh, they're just sitting down there too good, man. They're sitting like little turtle heads on a log. Just poop, 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 poop. They, it's, they're laid out perfect to catch. first bite of the day started reeling in that worm man hit it as I was reeling it in get some top water action let's see if we can get something to pull up Good one for our first fish. Top water baby. It's big as you. That's what we want. Might have them hooked weird. I don't know. What do we got here? I think it's a big one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a big one, boy. Oh, he's got a choke too. that baby first fish today we said we're hunting for these big ones today and that's what you want to see baby you see that popper in the back of his throat that's my third cast of the popper boys did see some bait flicker oh boy don't be telling telling me we're gonna be doing this 
Dude, he's got it in the back of his throat. This might be uh, what we doing, guys. Just literally in the back of his throat. <laughs> there we go, baby. First fish of the day is a freaking good one. We're actually gonna put him in the well. We're gonna get a cool picture at the end, but that is our first bite, and that's what we're looking for, these big bass. That's what you wanna see, guys. We tie on the top water, and I catch that fish right off the rip. That, that is exactly what you wanna see. We're gonna keep fishing, guys. Let's see if we can get another big one. This might be what we're on right now. When he ate it, I knew it was a big one, too. I just saw his whole back roll over it. What's crazy is my second Oh, there's one. My second biggest fish yesterday came on a popper. And uh, all the other ones I caught on, I mean, they weren't bad fish, but they weren't big ones, you know? We catch our first fish today and on the popper to be a good one. I mean, that's a good little sign. We haven't had many bites, guys. I only had one bite before that. It's been a little slow this morning, but. I'll take it if, if they're gonna be that size. Hello? What's up? What are you doing? It's on a lake. Oh, hell yeah. Now they would crush that thing out here. I was what thinking about it. What a battle devil. Oh, shoot, dude. That was insane. I started reeling my top water in. What happened? Did he hit it? Dude, he destroyed it. He didn't, he didn't just hit it. Golly, look at that, guys. That's a two and a half pounder. I was on the phone with Big Steve and <laughs> this thing just, dude, he's, I mean, I started reeling it in. I wasn't paying attention. And they're choking it too. I've caught two on it. They're just choking it. Did you hear the blow up? I, I, I thought you dropped your reel in the water. No, dude. I mean, it's a good fish. He's a solid like two and a half pounder. Look at that, guys. Second fish of the day. Second one on a popper. He, he demolished it. That's what we're looking for, guys. That's a good bass. <laughs> Let's go. I started reeling it in and he just started blowing up on it like crazy. She's been stressed out about that and then she has been having stomach problems. I got a huge blow up. Dude, that's a big one. I got a big one, dude. Oh my goodness. Guys, the size right now in the top water. This is a big one, dude. The sucker hey, came up hey, like a shark. Huh? Bring that back. <laughs> oh yeah dude this is a big one. Oh my gosh that one's four pounder easy fat fat as can be oh he's barely hooked oh yeah there we go look at that one guys the fish biting this popper right now are some good ones <laughs> he didn't choke it like the other ones but that's a solid three and a half pounder right there freaking fat belly look at that bass you gotta love it. Yeah, I saw him boil behind it. I popped it a couple more times and he just dove over it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you need to come, dude, you'd like this. Just different fishing too. It's not like Lake Okeechobee. Okeechobee's like a hole, you know? Yeah. I heard that lake's bad now. Every lake has cycles. That's what happens, they hit the pinnacle, and then they get fished out, and then they dive. Yeah. I know you're fishing catch anymore, so call me later. All right, I will. Love you. All right, y'all. One thing I'm looking at, <laughs> I have one of my hooks straightened out. It's something to pay attention to, you know, when you're fishing. Make sure all your hooks and everything are aligned right. Sorry I didn't talk to you guys too much on the, those last two catches either. <laughs> Big Steve called me on the phone. I ended up catching both of those while he's on the phone. These fish are eating it, guys. They're they're eating it really good. It, the the bites haven't been steady, but I just got those two back to back. One of them is about a three and a half pounder. One of them is about a two pounder. And then that one I caught at the beginning was pushing four. You know, he's just a little skinny. So the, for the bites that we're getting are big fish. You know, they're good bites. So we just got to keep it going. See what else we can get. Uh, but the top water bite, I'm gonna keep doing it. You know, as long as I really can. I caught them in the middle of the day yesterday. I'm talking hot, hot on the stop water so i don't know i think we can call up some more it's not like insane though like you don't see them schooling you don't see a ton of bait flicker you don't really see any activity like i haven't seen anything it's just like fishing this grass correctly 
giving it the pops that you need, not fishing it too aggressive, not fishing it too slow, um, making sure it's popping up a lot of water. There is a little bit of wind pushing back up in here. And these fish are just fired up on it. Like the bites that I've got, they're tanking it. It's, <laughs> it ain't no like little bite, you know what I mean? That's why I know that this is a thing. When I saw that first one choking in the back of his throat, I was like, dude, there's that that's not a fluke. When a fish eats it like that, you know, there's another one over here that can eat it. So we're gonna keep on going, guys. We got three on the popper so far. We had a little slow morning, been fishing for about a, a little over an hour. But I can't complain with three good fish like that on top water. Like, man, that's some good fishing. Let's keep on going, guys. I wanna see if I can get a few more big ones. I just tied on a sexy dog by Strike King. If you guys wanna get a discount on any of the Strike King baits, I'll pop my code up on the screen. I'm just worried about throwing this walking bait on a spinning combo. I don't know what it's gonna do. I guess we'll see. This is my only braided combo with me. My other one's a little messed up, so. We'll see. Yeah, I can run it pretty good. Yeah, you pop the rod up like that. Runs pretty good. If you guys are wondering about the color too, it's chrome. I tend to use like chrome top waters when it's sunny out. You know, you got the sun beaming down real heavy. If it was a cloudy day, I'd use more of a bone or a white color. But knowing that it's very sunny out today, the chrome is money. So keep that in mind when you're fishing top waters. And if you're fishing something like a frog where you're gonna go with like whites or blacks, in the sun, I like using a white. And when it's cloudy out, I like using black. Just kind of rule and thumb with your top waters. But if you got that sun peaking, man, put put you on a chrome top water. That's that's the money. Every time the sun's out, you won't see me throw anything else but a chrome or maybe like a translucent natural color. I think we're gonna start moving around a little bit more. I've been kind of stayed put. I'm gonna put put on that popper just for the main reason of like this spook with me moving it so fast is getting a good bit of grass on it. I think I could catch them on it 100%, but if I had my bait caster, it'd be so much better. Woo! <laughs> oh no. That was a good one too, guys. Golly, man, these bigger ones are eating this top water. All right, what do I got going on? That was a close one. I would love to throw it back in there. I could definitely get that fish to bite. I never stuck them. Let's see. Did you see we started moving? You, you can't get caught up in the sauce too much. You know, you start, you start fishing too slow there ain't nothing wrong with fishing slow but once you start fishing too slow and if anybody knows me anybody's been fishing with me you know i fish fast but you, sometimes you'll get caught fishing slow like that and you know we just we've been moving for about three casts i get another bite you know it's good to it's good to try to find more fish and keep hunting and casting around you know you don't want to get too caught up to what you're doing with what you're doing Oh, dude, come on now. That was a bite. First bite on chatter dog today. Pick that worm up, follow it up. I didn't stick that fish, I might eat this worm. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Guys, I didn't even hear that fish eat it. It's a freaking nice one, too. Oh, he choked it, man. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's how you want them to eat it. You're catching topwater fish. That's a good bass right there. I kind of took a little break, guys. Ate me a sandwich. Hopped on a few phone calls. I was just enjoying the day, man. Getting some other stuff done while I was out here. Just picked back up, start fishing on a new spot that uh, I haven't fished yet on this lake. Just trying to hunt around up through some different areas. And that's a good fish right there, man. I bet you there's some more up there that are going to smoke it. All right, let's get back in there, guys. Like I said, I haven't been to this spot yet. And it's looking saucy. Let's see what we can do. And a bunch of fish, a big stack of them right there. Oh, that was a good bite, guys. That was a good fish. Gosh, that was a good fish. He rolled on it. That was another three pounder. <sighs> Trying to multitask over here. I want to throw this worm up where he bit that, honestly. He just came up, rolled on it. You know, he didn't commit. He missed it. It's weird. Once those fish miss it, at least today, I've noticed they haven't came back and tried to eat it. It's just interesting, you know, some places or some days, some sometimes, you know, they'll miss it, they'll come back and eat it, you know. I had one roll on me earlier and he never ate it and then he came back, that was, that was like that three and a half pounder. You know, he came back and ate it, but some of these fish, they're just hitting it and they just don't, they don't play with it anymore. I might be able to get him to blow up on it right here though. A bunch of bait. Oh, he blew up on it. He is missing it. There might be a stack of them right here. Might be able to get on them real good. There's a lot of bait in this pocket too. It's getting pushed in this corner more of in the pocket. By the way, guys, let me know uh, if you like the dash cam. I'll probably put it on. I'll probably put my chesty on here in a little bit. Oh my goodness! He was looking at it. I changed my battery. I had a feeling that was going to happen. There's so many fish right here. I can't catch them. I, I had let that bait sit out there while I was changing the battery. And I was going to pop it and he ate it. I had a weird feeling that that was going to happen. That's why I was looking at it. But uh, if you guys like the dash cam, let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Drop a comment down below. You know, Let me know what you think about that. I'll probably move it to my chesty here soon. But I think it's a good little change in pace sometimes. I'll tell you what to really catch them too. I'm gonna throw this worm a few times. We might need to put on a fluke. A fluke would demolish these bass. Knowing that there's bait getting funneled in this corner, knowing that they're hitting my popper, they're chasing bait. You know, I can't really get them to pick up this worm for some reason. Uh, that fluke is a great option to be a little more subtle. I can go beneath the surface. I can work it a little faster. I can work it slow if I want. Holy cow. I just tied on a frog, guys, instantly. What? So my braided, you remember I was talking about my braided combo? I actually have one in the rod box, guys, that had braid on it. I can't tell you the last time I used this combo. 
there was a knot in it and I ended up getting it out. I, I must have knotted it up a while back and just threw it in my rod compartment. And I, I was thinking in my head, I'm like, do I have a braid combo in there? And I like started to think, I'm like, dude, I think I do. We might just start running and gunning pads, guys, if that's the case. on a frog guys in the same patch golly it's gonna be a good little pattern though i already know you get two bites like that you know? problem i got is this the only frog i own guys only frog to my name in the boat there might be another one i could scrabbing up but this one's got rusted hooks everything but it's the only one i got with me and i already know a lot of people are going to give me some crap for not bringing frogs to a florida lake i already know and i love frog fishing i just didn't have a rod for it it's about to get dirty, guys. Stay tuned. It's getting dirty. Oh, don't do it. Here's my next cast. And I freaking lost him. Here we go, baby. First frog fish. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that's my first frog. Or no, it's not. I've caught a few frog fish this year. But look at that. You gotta love a good old frog bite, guys. I knew it was gonna it was about to happen. You can tell that the color of this bass is a lot different being up in the shade in these lily pads. Not a big one by any means, but a frog fish, man. That is my favorite thing to do. And I believe we're getting on it. We're doing all sorts of top water action today. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, no. That's how you miss four pounder 101. <laughs> he followed my fluke out right to the boat. Just a meatball too. God. Oh, it's a good one too. Oh, it's a big and he's getting in the pad. No. That was like a five, six pounder, dude. Oh my, I called it too, guys. Golly, that was a mega. I can see him in this clear water. The mouth on him is that big. Oh, that sucks, man. We're gonna have to come out here and film another frog video sometime. I just like, don't, I don't know, these hooks, they're all rusted and just not, not it, man. Not it, God. The guy, I saw him turn me in this patch. I was like, yeah, that ain't gonna be good. He was right in that matted grass I was talking about, though. That was a big, that was the biggest fish I've seen in this lake so far. Uh, I, I don't know, they're on this bite, though. We're gonna get, we're gonna get us a good one, guys. We're gonna get us a real big one. God, it was, I couldn't even click my reel. I just threw the next cast. What is going on? I literally, my frog landed and he, it was gone. God. Oh, 
don't know what to say, man. Baby frog, baby frog bass. Spit it, spit it. I don't even know, like I missed so many fish today. This guy is a future toad, let me tell you. Look at how thick that boy is. Oh, man, that's a thick boy. Oh, oh, why you do it to me like that? Dude, that is a mega. That is a mega. Come on, baby. Oh, they're popping to the right of me. That's a good one, man. He ain't a four pounder, but he's a good one. Whoop. Okay. I, once I got on the frog guys, it just messed me up. I should have kept doing what I was doing today. Holy smokes, those are hot. But I feel like once I got on that frog bite, it just kind of distracted me. And I got so interested in catching those frog fish. In reality, I probably should have started off in the morning with that. If I would have had my rod, that's probably what I would have done. But we just we got back to the popper about 10 minutes ago and and boom another nice chunky one man that's what they're eating we're gonna see if we can catch some more out here it is so calm now and zero wind i think we're gonna get some really cool blow ups before we leave out of here dude there they are bro oh my gosh look at that face of course my line tangled up the one time i don't need Oh, that's a good one, dude. Yeah. I'm about to say, if one doesn't blow up on that, I don't know. Oh, he's a good one. Woo. That's a fat fish right there. He's been chewing. He's been chewing and you a fat one. Woo, baby. Dude, that is a thick fish, bro. That fish is almost three pounds in a two pounded body. Came up and got it. it. Took you a minute, but you came up and got it. I had you hooking good, too. Look at that one, guys. That was a good fish right there, man. What a chunk. Let's see if we can get some more. There we go, guys. That's some good fish. Let's get them back in the water. We had a good day. Last puppy. wow what a day of fishing guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please hit that like button let me know what you think about the dash cam and also hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel we got a lot of great videos coming up i hope you enjoyed that top water madness right there that was a good time on the water i will catch you guys in the next video